Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. There's something quite tranquil about Sunday afternoons, isn't there? You know, when you're on your own. With a nice cold San Miguel because you've got no black sheep left in the fridge. Now, let's give an honest review no bias no David Hay I call it bias when I mention the word bias I think of David Hay and John Rawlins and Barry Jones because it's usually fresh in my head from the day before but let's give a let's give an opinion first let's start with the show on the 12th Friday the 12th King Abdullah Sports City, Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. Promoter Super Boxing League, Bill Dozanai. Television, United Kingdom, Channel 5. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 fights. Hey, listen. Not one fight. This is where people are digging up, digging out. The show that uh, Peter Fury, Mick Hennessy, Asif Fali and, and all those guys have been involved in. Not one fighter on this show has got a losing record. Not one. Not one fighter. Some of the names are going to be very hard to pronounce. Like... Welterweight, Rodrigo Carabola, 5-0. He beat Sajid Abid, 8-0. Then you've got lightweight, R Rakish Lokchab, 6-0 on a draw. He lost to Zhu Haya Al Quantane, 6-0. Then you've got Super Bantam, weight, Shakho... Bidin Zoyrov 2 0. He beat Sandeep Singh Bhatti 1 and 1 and 0. Then you've got middleweight Michael Hennessy Jr. 1 and 0. He drew with Farhad Haz Rat Zada who were on his debut. So. Oh, we're unlucky for Michael Hennessy Jr. I've met Michael Hennessy Jr. I like him, so I was gutted for him. And then you've got heavyweight Hemi Ahayo, 14 and 0. He beat Ali Kai Widen, 8 and 0. Then you've got middleweight Abdul Fatah Juladana, Juladan, free. And one, he lost to Kyle Lomate six and zero. Oh. Well, like I said, as I'm working my way through these, not one of them's got a losing record, and I think that deserves respect. Right then, you've got bantamweight. There's only one bantamweight, isn't there? That's Prince Patel. 19 and 0 and a draw. He took his first loss against Michelle Banquez. 18 and 1. I didn't give him a round, Prince Patel. Uh, featherweight, Larotta Delamini. 12 and 1. He beat Dave Pinalosa. 15 and 0. That was for the vacant WBC silver featherweight title. Uh, 
good to hear though about Prince Patel losing IBF, IBO, IB, uh, IBO world title. He'll be gutted about that. But anyway, after that, you've got heavyweight Yui Fury, chief support, 22 and 2, against Samuel Peter. Right. This is where I've been getting a bit of stick. Samuel Peter, 38 years old, 38 and 7. So a 38 year old man. <laughs> Now, if I can go on a punch bag for four or three minutes, that's 12 minutes, in it? Samuel Peter, professional athlete, should be able to last longer than how he did, shouldn't he? If he's 11 years younger than me, I'm 49 in a couple of weeks. Now, Samuel Peter... He didn't come... He came to survive, and, and, and he stunk the place out, spoiling and fouling and... You expect a bit more from somebody that's won a WBC heavyweight world title and, you know, he's beat four world champions along the way. He's got two wins. Sorry, he's got four wins over world champions. I mean, he's got two wins over all of famer James Tony. You know, and and he's performing like that and he just made Yui look bad. It made show look bad, if you ask me. Uh, this is my opinion. And I felt for Yui and his dad, right, because they're, and me, Kenneth, because they were on a loser to nothing, really, weren't they? They're on a loser to nothing. You know what I mean? But the good thing is, Yui gets a win, he gets out there, he gets to fight in a different time zone. There's the positives, but Samuel Peter, he didn't perform, did he, like he said he were going to. And, and I think when you've got when you're in a situation like that where he's clearly feigning an injury, he didn't hurt his arm. I don't think. I think they have to start stopping the purses, me. I think they do. A bit like Audley Harrison, they stopped his against David A, didn't they? But then they give him it because Eddie Hearn was screaming blue murder. But you know it's. Uh, They're on, a, they're on a loser to nothing, but the actual show, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 10 fights, that's 20 fighters. Not one of them 20 fighters. Am I out of range here after this? Let's have a look. Not one of them 20 fighters has got a losing record, not one. Not one. Then you've got Amir Khan. You've got Amir Khan fighting for WBC International Welterweight title. 33 and 5 against Billy Dibb. 45 and 5. Uh, you know, late, late replacement. Billy's probably there because, you know, you, you've... You, He's got a good CV, but Billy were too small to be fighting him. Money really had me a car, and you know, it, uh, I don't know really. They saved the show with Billy Dibbon, aren't they? They've got the show off there, so I think that's good in it, really. And and they're trying some no, and I think that anybody who's having a go at him as don't don't get boxing. You know, I mean, Khan got paid mega. He got paid mega money to fight out there, mega money. That's what it's going to be about for, for Amir now, money. And yeah, he's probably going to take the Kell Brook fight soon, probably, but who knows? Who knows? But, you know, how many WBC belts have we got on here? Let's have a look. We've got a WBC 1, a WBC 2. An IBO. We've got three belts on there out of ten fights. Not one of them. Not one. As a losing record. And that's how I'm going to go with this show. Not one has a losing record. So as far as I'm concerned. That's fantastic. That Some of the names I can't pronounce. I think Michael Ennessy Jr. has to go back to the drawing board. If he can't beat a guy who's on his debut. He's got to go back to the drawing board. Maybe he might just be trying to please his dad. I don't know. As many a dad works in the boxing industry and they want the kids to be boxers. 
some have got it, some aren't. But Yui moves to 23 and 2. And has Yui gone up in rankings? Yui's gone down one in rankings. He swapped places with Joe Joyce. Uh, top 20 Yui, Martin, Joyce, Chisora, Ergovic, Washington, Rivers, Ama, Brazil, Kaunaki, Parker, Pulef, Ortiz, Miller, White, Povetkin, Fury, Joshua Wilder, Andy Ruiz, number one box wrecking world, Andy Ruiz, age 29. So, good luck to Andy Ruiz. As far as I'm concerned, 29 year old at the top of his game. Good luck to him. Only defeat he's got on his record shouldn't be a defeat, so they say, so the experts say. So that's the show at Jeddah. Uh, I tuned in to watch it on Channel 5. I know many other people did. Free to air boxing. As far as I'm concerned, I'll we'll just get this set up. As far as I'm concerned, right, if it's free to air boxing, right, free to air is good, it's like getting free beer, isn't it? It's free to air boxing, you're not paying a subscription channel. All them people that have got TV license as well. I've got friends who work for a TV license company, and you don't have to have a TV license if you don't want to, you know. Do you know how you get out of it? When they knock on your door and they say, have you got a TV licence? They obviously have you on a list and no, you haven't. You just turn around and say seven words. Am I obliged to talk to you? They say no, because you obviously aren't entered into a contract and you shut the door in the face. That's how you get off with it. So, not a lot of people know that, but that's a true story of my children's life. Now... As far as I'm concerned, as far as I'm concerned at the moment, we're going into an era, we're going into an era where people are not wanting to fight each other, are they? People are not fighting each other. Who is taking the fights in what division? Is Billy Joe fighting Canelo? Is Billy Joe fighting Canelo or Triple G? No. Is Billy Joe fighting Callum Smith or Benavitez? No. Is Tyson Fury fighting Wilder? No. Is he fighting Joshua? No. There's a fight out there for Tyson Fury though if uh, Dillian White beats Rivers. That's Dillian White, Tyson Fury. Will that happen? No. Tyson doesn't want that work, does he? But we'll get onto that in the next video. Fighters are not fighting the fights that they should fight. So it is what it is, isn't it? But I'm just going to point it out and I'm just going to keep moving forward with my channel. Keep your questions coming in. Keep your comments. I read them. Well, I don't reply to your comments, but I reply to your emails. Uh, and obviously I do put tweets out, but keep your questions coming in, because the questions are, are really important, aren't they Rocky? Rocky, say hello. Rock, say hello. Say hello. Don't you want to speak? Don't you want to say hello? Hey? Come on, come on, come on. Come on, what's the matter? Hey? You're a good boy. But, uh. But yeah, so I thought on the whole, Samuel Peters spoiled the show. And I thought I'm here calm way too big for Billy Dib. But they had a go at putting the show on, so you've got to give him respect. It was free to air TV. You got to see Amir Khan, you got to see Yui, you got to see Billy Dib, Prince Patel. And you didn't get to see one fighter out of the 20 on show that had a losing record. And that for me. That for me means it's a good show. Good matched up fights. I mean, if you look at the fights, 
Not everybody won, did they? Hang on a minute, let me just get this camera sorted here. Two seconds. Right, two seconds. Let me just. Let me get this on here. Have a look. Right, for example, Yui Fury. Yui won. Oops. Right, look at that there now. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six and three and a draw, that show. Six and three and a draw. Right. Six wins, three losses, one draw. Now that to me, that's good evenly matched fights. Not one of them had a losing record, like I've just pointed out to you. Are other shows going to follow suit? Now, uh, watch my next video and you see what I say about the next one. Okay? So, peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. It's a fantastic sport when they get it right. When they don't, and it gets mired in bullshit and fighters being frightened to fight other fighters and managers and promoters wanting to hold back for more money and this and that. That's when it gets murky and that's when it starts to piss me off. Do you know what I mean? So, alright, peace out.